Is spaceflight bad for your health? Imagine agreeing to go to a two-hour Star Trek movie that turns out to last three days. Okay, a few of you would actually enjoy that, but that's similar to what happened to astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore, whose eight-day assignment to the International Space Station turned into an over nine-month stay. The good news is they were able to be productive by carrying out experiments and doing maintenance and repair work. But after nine months in space, what damage occurred to their bodies and can it be repaired? The answer to that comes from many studies, including NASA's twin study, where Scott Kelly spent a year taking measurements on himself, among other duties, while his twin astronaut brother Mark had the same measurements done on Earth. Then follow-up tests for both continued for a year after Scott's return. What they found was that most of the changes due to spending a year in space returned to normal once back on Earth. But here's a few that didn't. For one, telomeres which protect chromosomes when shortened with age actually lengthened in space. But back on Earth, they not only returned to normal length, but a few of them became even shorter, which could mean a greater susceptibility to the aging and age-related diseases like heart disease and cancer. Two, some of Scott's DNA was damaged, likely due to the radiation exposure that occurs in space. The good news is that over 90% of that DNA returned to normal on Earth, but leaving Scott nearly 10% genetically different from Mark, and jokingly not his real twin anymore. Three, while Scott didn't display alarming cognition effects in space, he did have a little more trouble with the test after returning to Earth. This could be a red flag for longer missions to Mars, when astronauts had to perform complex tasks after landing. And finally, some of the immune-related genes remain hyperactive on Earth, as did the thickening of his retina, which occurs in about 40% of astronauts. While it's insightful to compare these changes among a set of twins, it's still just a study of one person. But combining these findings with the data from future year-long space missions could identify safeguards and treatments in order for future astronauts to boldly go where no one's gone before. Like wherever this is. As always, mantras come from peer-reviewed research.